Hello everyone, I hope you like the videos of Marpol 7378. Our last video was about NX5. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about NX6 that is regulations for the prevention of air pollution from ship. Uh, this NX6 came into force on 19th May 2005. So this uh, air pollution from ships, this is because of the exhaust gases which comes from which, uh, which comes from combustion of fuel from ships and this exhaust gas consists of uh, nitrogen oxide, sulfur oxide, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, ozone depleting substances and volatile organic compounds. So by this I hope you can understand that how much effective they are for our environment and that's why this NX6 sets limit on uh, SOx and NOx emissions from ships exhaust and prohibits deliberate emission of ozone depleting substances. And in view of this, an IMO subcommittee of ship design and equipment has developed the NOx technical code. So let's see what is included in this NOx technical code. So first is procedure for pre-certification and certification of the engine. Then technical file and onboard NOx verification procedures. Then maximum allowable NOx limits for marine diesel then procedures for onboard NOx monitoring and calibration of recording devices and guidelines of sampling uh, guidelines on sampling of fuel delivered uh, for use on board ship now let's discuss about ozone depleting substances so ozone depleting substances are cfc that is the chlorofluorocarbon used in refrigerating systems and halones which is used in firefighting equipments okay. and according to regulation 12 of this NX6 uh, any deliberate emission of uh, ozone depleting substances are prohibited and also this regulation says that ODS that is ozone depleting substances and equipment containing such substances shall be delivered to appropriate reception facilities when removed from ship. Then installation which contain ozone depleting substances are prohibited on ship constructed after 1st Jan 2020. Then a list of equipments containing ozone depleting substance shall be maintained. Okay, This is for the ships which come under this regulation 12 of Annex 6. And an ozone depleting substances record book shall be maintained on board. Okay, So this ozone depleting substances record book shall be maintained on the ships where in case there is rechargeable system containing ozone depleting substances. Okay, So for those uh, type of systems, ozone depleting substances record book should be maintained on board. Now before discussing about emission of NOx and SOx, I would like to discuss about emission control area. Emission control area ECA means an area where the adoption of special mandatory measures for emissions from ships to prevent, reduce and control uh, air pollution from NOx and SOx. So these areas are Baltic Sea area and North Sea area. Okay, these uh, both are for SOx and in case of NOx, these are for the ships which are built on or after 1st Jan 2021. And North American area and United States Caribbean Sea area, these are for both SOx and NOx. And most ships which operate both outside and inside of this ECA will therefore operate on different fuel oils to comply with the limitations of this emission control area. Now let's discuss about nitrogen oxide. This nitrogen oxide comes from high temperature combustion and this produce acid rain. Therefore, there is a regulation for control of nitrogen oxides that is regulation 13. This regulation 13 applies on each diesel engine with output greater than 130 kilowatt which is uh, constructed okay which is constructed or undergoes a major conversion on or after 1st Jan 2000 okay but uh, this regulation does not apply on uh, emergency diesel engines or lifeboat engines or any other device or equipments which are used for emergency purpose and operation of diesel engine is prohibited except when NOx emission is within limit so let's uh, talk about the limits so first is Tire 1. Tire 1 means ships constructed on or after 1st Jan 2020. For them, when N is less than 130, here 
I would like to tell you that this N means rated engine speed in RPM or you can say the speed of crankshaft or revolution per minute okay in RPM. So when this speed of crankshaft in RPM is less than 130 then the emission limit is 17 gram per kilowatt hour. But when it is between 130 to 2000 okay then there is a formula that is 45 into N less to the power minus 0 0.2 and for N greater than 2000 the emission limit is 9.8 gram per kilowatt hour. Similarly for tire 2 that is SIPs constructed or on or after 1st Jan 2011 for them when N is less than 130 the emission limit is 14.4 gram per kilowatt hour. When uh, the speed of crankshaft is between 130 rpm to 2000 rpm then the emission limit is calculated with a, with a formula that is 44 into n raised to the power minus 0 0.23 and when the speed of crankshaft in rpm is greater than 2000 then the limit is 7.7 .7 gram per kilowatt hour. Similarly for tire 3 that is ships constructed on or after 1st Jan 2016 for them when n is less than 130 the emission limit is 3.4 gram per kilowatt hour when it is between 130 to 2000 the formula is 9 into n raised to the power minus 0 0.2 and when n is greater than 2000 the emission limit is 2 gram per kilowatt hour. So these are the limits for NOx emission according to regulation 13 of NX6. Now let's discuss about SOx that is sulfur oxide. Sulfur oxide is produced when fuel containing sulfur is burned and to control this there is regulation 14 of NX6 which is control of sulfur oxide. So according to this regulation there are some emission limit to control emission of uh, sulfur oxide okay outside an ECA and inside an ECA. ECA means emission control area. So uh, outside an ECA before 1st Jan 2012 the emission limit was 4.5 percent mass by mass and after 1st Jan 2012 the emission limit was 3.5 percent mass by mass and uh, after 1st Jan 2020 the emission limit is 0 0.5 percent mass by mass and similarly inside an ECA before 1st July 2010 the emission limit was 1.5 percent mass by mass. After 1st July 2010 the emission limit was 1 percent mass by mass and after 1st Jan 2015 the emission limit is 0 0.1 percent mass by mass mass and to reduce this emission of SOx ships before entering into ECA change their fuel to low sulfur bunker fuel and also they are using exhaust cleaning system which is known as scubbers. Now let's discuss about volatile organic compound. This volatile organic compound VOC are organic compounds which easily vaporize on room temperature and the main source of these VOCs are loading of oil products in tankers and therefore to control this emission of VOC there is regulation 15 of NX6 okay that is control of volatile organic compound and that's why this uh, regulation 15 only applies to tankers and some gas carriers and to reduce this emission of VOC vapor emission control system is used and VOC management plan is used. Now let's discuss about regulation 16 that is emissions of shipboard incinerator of NX6. So uh, incinerators installed after 1st Jan 2000 are to be met this regulations and must be certified to meet the specifications of MEPC. Then each incinerator must have a manufacturer's operation manual and also crew responsible for the incinerator operation shall be trained and follow the operations manual. And the following substances are prohibited for incineration that are NX1, 2 and 3 cargo residues and related packing materials. Then garbage as defined by Annex 5 containing heavy metals, petroleum products containing halogens and also PVC can also be incinerated in type approved incinerators. Fuel gas temperature shall be monitored and not less than 850 degrees Celsius or for continuous feed and each 600 degrees Celsius within 5 minutes for batch feed. Now let's discuss about fuel oil quality that's regulation 18. It says that fuel oil shall be blends of hydrocarbons derived from petroleum refinery also it should be free from inorganic acid and it shall not include any added substance or chemical waste. Now let's discuss about 
इंटरनेशनल एयर पॉल्यूशन प्रिवेंशन सर्टिफिकेट दैट इज आई ए पी पी सी सो ऑल शिप्स ऑफ फोर हंड्रेड ग्रॉस टोनेज एंड अब एंड एवरी फिक्स और फ्लोटिंग प्लेटफॉर्म एंड ड्रिलिंग रिंग ओके ऑल द शिप्स ऑफ फोर हंड्रेड ग्रॉस टोनेज एंड अबो दैन फिक्स और फ्लोटिंग प्लेटफॉर्म एंड ड्रिलिंग रिंग शेल बी इशूड विथ एन इंटरनेशनल एयर पॉल्यूशन प्रिवेंशन सर्टिफिकेट ओके दे शुड बी प्रोवाइडेड एन इंटरनेशनल एयर पॉल्यूशन प्रिवेंशन certificate so this was about annex 6 of marpol 7378 that is regulations for the prevention of air pollution from ships to learn more about this annex 6 i will request you to download the pdf from the link provided in the description box and i hope you will like the video so please click the like button share the video and subscribe the channel thank you so much